Hi, I'm Marcus with IndieMusicLab.com. So in this super short video today, I'm gonna be showing you just a couple things you can do to maximize the Empire plugin that comes stock with Studio One. And I'm gonna show you just some different things you can do to make your electric guitar arrangements specifically really stand out and really sound good. So let's dive in. So I'm here inside of Studio One. Here, everything in green here is my electric guitar parts. Now the first thing I wanna look at, so I've got Empire on all of these, actually except the one. I do have my Waves GTR amp on the this guitar part. So this is just a remake of the song Sweater Weather by The Neighborhood. Touch my neck, no touch yours, you in those little so that's the song that I'm going to be illustrating uh, these things to you here. So, but the rest of these four electric guitar tracks, as you can see, I'm using Empire. So the first one let's look at is arrangement wise, as you can see, this starts with just this one. And then as we move here, we're adding these two power chords. Now, the first thing I want to mention here as far as making your arrangement sound good is you want to have a different preset and different sound for every single guitar track. So even, even on doubles, so these are playing the exact same thing, just pan left and right, but I have different presets on them. So for the electric rhythm that's on the, you know, the right, I've got this one and I started with the invoxinated preset. The way I like to do with the presets here is find one that's close and then adjust it from there. That, for me, that gives me by far the, the fastest workflow and the best bang for my buck if I just do that. So I started with this preset. I may have made some adjustments after the fact. And then for the other one that's playing the exact same part, I used a different preset. So you get a slightly different tone. So that's just a little thing. Actually, it's not a little thing because this is so important to have diversity with your arrangement and your presets. Don't throw the exact same default preset on all your guitar parts. Make sure that you vary it up. And like, like here, we have, when this section here comes in, it's like a chorus breakdown. It's too cold. That's where this guitar comes in. Right? So it's a chorusy guitar and then most of the other guitars drop out. So those power chords, they drop out. And it's a completely different preset. Now for this, I started with this preset, then I did also um, use RC20 to get those extra effects for this specific guitar sound. Guitar sound. Another thing I wanna mention here about Empire is when you put Empire on a track, you wanna be aware of whether your track is in mono or in stereo, because here's an example. So uh, this, track that I just showed you with those chorusy wide chords. If I switch this back to mono, it's just down the middle, right? So if you're gonna be adding any type of stereo width effects, make sure you come over here to this little cute little button and hit that so it goes to stereo. Now, if you're doing like here, these can stay mono because it's power chords, one left and one right. There's no utility in making those stereo, but just keep that in mind. If you're going for anything that has a stereo sound, you wanna, you can just very quickly and easily adjust this. So I'm a huge fan of the Empire plugin. I love that there's a tuner built in that you can uh, always, it's always right there at your disposal. They've got all these options. You can always add little pedals as well for effects directly within the plugin so you don't have to add them externally and that's always a nice thing to have as well. So I love Empire. I am be I've become really impressed with the way they keep updating it and now that Personas is owned by Fender, I'm especially looking forward to the future of what that is going to do and how they are going to make Studio One even more friendly for us guitarists who produce our own music. So those are just a couple tips for producing using the Empire plugin inside of Studio One. Now, before you go, I just wanna give you a little gift just for watching this video, and it is a free chord chart of sorts. It is six chords in every key. That's the name of it, and what you have mapped out here in this chord chart is in all 12 keys, the six essential chords in every single key. So if you know you're in the key of D major, then here are the six chords, three minor chords, three major chords. These are the chords you have to know before you start trying to figure out secondary dominance or other 
more slightly more advanced music theory type chords. Get the basics down and this chord chart is really gonna help you out with that. So link is in the description below. It's 100% free. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you next time. See ya.